Hello, this is Laptop Media, and today, we will show you how to open the Dell G155520 and what's inside of it. To access this notebook's internals, you need to undo 8 Phillips head screws. Then, pry the bottom panel with a plastic tool, starting from the front two corners. Please remember, it would be of great help to us if you just hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. That would motivate us to make even more and better videos for you. Once inside, you'll find the 56 watt hours battery pack. It got us through 6 hours of either web browsing or video playback. It is pretty easy to take it out, as you'll only need to undo 4 screws and unplug the connector from the motherboard. Here, you can see that the laptop has two SODIMM slots, which fit DDR5 memory and work in dual-channel mode. Storage-wise, however, we only find one M.2 PCIe X4 slot. Thankfully, it can work with Gen 4 SSDs. Now comes the fun part. If you, for some reason, want to take a look at the cooling, you're going to need to remove the entire motherboard. To do so, first, undo the four Phillips head screws holding the plastic cover on the back. Then, you can proceed by unplugging the power connector, as well as a couple of brackets here and there. When you're done with that, remove the Wi-Fi card and detach its cable antennas.
If you've come this far, this means you are almost there. Just unplug some more ribbon cables, as well as some screws, which secure the motherboard, the two daughterboards, and the fans to the chassis. Then, taking the motherboard out should be an easy job, you just need to mine the cables. Here, you can see the cooling system, which comprises two heat pipes shared between the CPU and the GPU, and one more for each of them, which receives its own heat sink. In addition, there are a couple of metal heat spreaders meant for graphics memory and VRMs. If you'd like to see more disassembly videos of the latest notebooks we would highly appreciate if you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.